Hey everybody, doing another video going through the Crypt of the Damned again. I missed set it on the first one. It's not the Decayed Crypt, it is the Crypt of the Damned. This is our second attempt because the first time through uh, just didn't quite work out. If you hadn't seen it, you should go back and at least watch it for the end because it's about as close as I've been on any of these games. This time going back through, we had a uh, city encounter back in town and a vermling stole our money and got away, ran away with it. Then out on the road, there was a guy with a broken axle, which we tried to help, but we just didn't know how. I don't know how you work these things, you just... But goal-wise, in this one, Spud has got the short-term goal that he's got to be the first one to get a kill. He actually goes ahead and pulls the archer over next to Vim and then does his big attack with the eagle eye goggles because he only needs to do six damage. It's like five if he gets a plus one and actually got a plus one. Amazing that a card turn went in our favor here. But uh, then Vim goes and steps up and hits the elite living bones, does a good amount of damage, and then knocks it into the trap, doing four more and actually kills it off. So in the first round, we've got... Just about everything taken care of before they get to go. Uh, we take the next couple of turns just to clear up the living bones, uh, uh, get ourselves in position. Then Vim goes ahead and opens the door. And when he does, the archers end up having their card where they're only going to do a big attack and not move. So Vim goes ahead and pulls back into the room and we just wait. The, the lower cultist comes a little bit close, but not quite close enough. Next turn, we move out into the hallway, hit the cultist, do some damage, but we're not able to kill it. And of course, uh, they summon living bones, so we get two of them out. We end up killing off that cultist and uh, kind of punch one of the living bones just so that we've got a, a hole for Vim to run through and hit the upper cultist just before it summons another living bones. Uh, after that, we hit the other archer and uh, and kill it off. Then I have Spud actually run up the corridor behind Vim to try to use him as a bit of a meat shield. Uh, he had taken a little bit of damage. We kill off the last remaining living bones, and they each take a long rest to get a long rest in, so they've got all their item cards, and they're set and ready to go into that lower room. We go through the lower door, uh, Spud goes ahead and steps up, does some damage, pulls the Earth Elemental into the trap, and then poisons him. And then I have Spud get out of the way so that Vim can actually move in there and try to get the killing blow. Uh, the demon kind of moves back a little bit because uh, Vim does a push action first. Has to use his boots to run in there and get the killing blow on the next round. That unfortunately leaves him like a good distance away and he doesn't have any of his move cards left. So Spud runs up to the end of the corridor, opens the door, and then pulls back. This gets the wind demons. They got actually got a good movement, so they run into the corridor, and we can start uh, start doing some damage to them. Luckily, the cultist doesn't do any summon living bones for the first couple of turns. It just like moves forward one space, so we can sit there and wail on the wind demons. And uh, we kill one of them off right when uh, Vim is getting around, getting up there. And the cultist goes into his mode for summoning living bones. Vim's able to run up and actually get the killing shot on the cultist. And since we only have one monster left, we just kind of sit in, in sissy foot around for a little bit and let Vim take short rest after short rest after short rest and just discard cards like crazy and pick up some coins. And then once he's, uh, once he's down to three cards, we go ahead and whack the killing blow on the remaining wind demon and it's really not that big of a deal. So Vim ends up getting his short-term goal just by discarding cards and cycling through a bunch of turns at the end to make sure that he's uh, uh, down to where he needs to be. And uh, that's it. A successful mission. They already got the loot from the last round, so they're sitting good. Going back to town, gearing up, getting ready, and they're going to be going after another crypt mission after this one. So check back for Ruinous Crypt next one up.